everybody, this is Adam with Paracore, and today I'm gonna to talk a little bit about product shopping ads because they're a little bit different type of ad format than you're used to typically in AdWords, and they can be a little bit more difficult to optimize and improve because most people just aren't as used to them, and uh, they require a different style of, um, of managing the campaign and managing the data versus some of the things that you do in search ads where you're really messing with the text a lot and different characteristics of the ad, whereas in product listings, you don't mess with those things. What I'm gonna talk about today is how you can manage your feed and categorize your feed so that you're redirecting dollars and, and steering dollars to the, to the products that are performing the best. So I'm gonna be looking at two accounts, and the first one is one that we took over fairly recently, and it just has one campaign. That one campaign has a $133 daily budget. The bid strategy we're using is maximize clicks. It's actually performing quite well. Um, this one's running about a 10 to one return, which is amazing. But what you can see is when I click into this, uh, click into this campaign and I have this ad group, all products, then we see all of these products all in one ad group. And it's great to be able to see how each category is performing, right? So here I have mirrors. I know how much money has been spent on them. If I scroll over, I see what the conversion value is. It's converting well. The same thing with window regulators and motor gears. So I can see which of these product groups is performing well. And you'll see when I hover over these ro rows that you get different icons. So if I were to see that fuel pumps was performing poorly, for example, I could hit this edit button here and I could exclude fuel pumps from our campaign. Now, if I were to exclude that, it wouldn't show in the ads anymore. So if that product is just not performing well, that's maybe something I would wanna do. Um, so by excluding, um, different product groups, you can actually decide where to filter the traffic. And we're gonna be talking about that in the other account that we look at. You will also see plus signs when you hover over these different, um, these different rows. So if you're looking at your account and you're not seeing all these product groups, you will have an all products group, and then you can hit this edit button next to it, edit subdivision, choose product type at the top. And now you have all these different product groups you can choose from. So I basically took the product subcategories that had the most products within them. I checked the box. So if I were to check air intake, that would break out into its own product group in the screen we were just looking at. And you can basically uh, decide which ones that you wanna check and which ones you wanna break out on their own. In the instance of this client, we decided to break out the, uh, the product groups that had the most products within them. All right. so. You have all the product groups broken out, and we've talked about this, where you can break out the product groups here in the bottom. You can exclude certain product groups. You can actually change the bid, um, but we're doing uh, maximize clicks, so it's automatic, doesn't let you change it. And then here, you can continue to add another subdivision. When you're working in a product group, um, you may not have all these options, but you could choose item ID, for example, and you could sort by clicks descending, and then this would show you that this one product had the most clicks, and um, maybe you wanted to break that out for some reason. Maybe you wanted to exclude it or something like that. So you use these uh, different icons when you're hovering over the row in order to change if this group is showing or subdivide it further or really just manage and see the data from a categorical perspective. That's the first account we're looking at. And that's probably how your account is set up if you haven't really made any changes to it. Everything feeds in into one data feed and then um, and then everything, actually you won't even see these. You'll have to add these, these uh, product groups. You'll just see everything else in all products and you're just gonna see that one thing. Now, there's another account that we're working on that we've had for quite some time, which happens to have about the same budget. And we, we started off the same way. We started looking at the data and then we saw that some of their products and their categories were performing better than others. So in the case of this business, the football and celebrity campaigns were broken out. We actually have other campaigns broken out like hockey, baseball, basketball that were not performing as well and are currently paused. And then we have all other products. And what you'll see here is because we've broken them out in separate campaigns, now we can do different things from the campaign level. So we are actually steering budget to certain products here that we were not able to do before. So we have $50 to football, $50 to all other products, and only 15 to celebrity. And you might do that if there's a seasonality issue or one of your products has lower margins or it's not converting as well or something along those lines, right? So um, now instead of just having the product groups like we had in the first example, now we have different product listing campaigns. And so if when you click into football, we have one ad group here that we're running and then I click into that ad group. 
Now you'll see a very similar setup that we were looking at before, but we only have uh, football broken out. So I hit you know this edit subdivision. We selected football, so we broke that one out, and then we excluded everything else in the feed. And now what now what that does is this says okay we're we basically created a campaign like we had before but instead of including everything else in the product feed and just breaking everything out we broke out just one product group and then we excluded everything else so now we're pushing all this budget just to the football campaign which is really cool because that's one of their higher converting campaigns they get the highest uh, return on that typically so um i wanted to go over that because Managing a product listing campaign can be a little bit difficult sometimes, and especially knowing what to optimize within the feed. There are other things like you know keywords and search terms. You actually don't select the keywords in product listing ads. Uh, everything's pulled out of the feed itself, but you can uh, add negatives the same way and restrict traffic. And then by breaking a feed into separate campaigns and excluding product groups and including other product groups, you can filter where you want the money to go, which is really nice. So that's all for today. I just wanted to talk about how we at Paracord, it's one of the strategies we use to manage the flow of dollars in the product listing ads. And it's been really helpful and allowed us to really manage our ROI and our investment when we need to. So again, my name is Adam. Uh, I'm the owner of Paracord. We're a pay-per-click lead generation agency. We're in Phoenix. Uh, if you want to reach out, the contact information is in the description and like or subscribe if you found the video enjoyable. Thanks a lot. Have a great day and thanks for watching.